I think this is often a, a misunderstood condition, and I think that's primarily because of the word schizoid in its name. A schizoid personality disorder, or SPD, is generally defined as so social isolation and feelings of complete indifference towards other people. Now, sufferers tend to be distant or withdrawn and usually shy away from most social situations that might involve interacting with other people. Now, you'll generally find that people with SPD find it enormously difficult to express emotions and don't tend to put any great importance on forming close personal relationships either. Now, SPD is relatively rare, and it tends to affect men more than women. The sufferers of SPD, I mean, they can come across as withdrawn, aloof, cold and detached, and generally tend to prefer their own company and being alone. But of course, because of this, this this can then lead to loneliness and self isolate and and social isolation. I mean, they're not um, they're not immune to that, and you know this this need uh, this need to be alone. I suppose tends to tends to mean that they don't make friends easily, you know, or and they don't they don't enter into rom romantic relationships easily simply because going on a date or dating in general would just be hell for them. So they often remain unmarried and single throughout their lives, meaning, of course, that in later life, they have no support network around them. Now, whilst uh, schizoid personality disorder is certainly considered one of the schizophrenia spectrum disorders and does share some symptoms with both schizophrenia and schizotypal personality disorder, there are big differences, key differences. Um, and I suppose the primary one is that sufferers of SPD very rarely experience paranoia or hallucinations. And yes, they can come across as standoffish, you know, if you're having a conversation with them, but their conversations will be rational, will, will, will be rational rather, which means, of course, that that's different to people who suffer from schizophrenia because they don't tend to make sense when you're speaking to them. Their, their language is jumbled the way their language patterns are jumbled, so on and so forth. Now, we don't know what causes SPD. It's thought to be a combination of genetic factors and environmental factors. It could be experiences as a child with social interaction or parental interaction. We just don't know. It's probably a combination of everything. So what are the symptoms? Um, let me actually put them on the screen so you can have a look at them and you can you can pause the video. I think SPD gets a, a bad rap, and I think it's primarily because of the word schizoid in the diagnosis. It's one of those words that people know, or at least they think they know, but very rarely actually know the real meaning of. So there you go, that's uh, schizoid personality disorder.